namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa I'm very grateful to the devotees of Theravada Dharma Society of Del City, San Francisco, California, USA, for inviting me to give a short Dharma talk on today, July 4th, 2012. I thought of reflecting on the dharma that you find in the dhammapada the first two phrases the first phrase goes like this all actions are led by the mind mind is their maker mind is the chief act your speak with impure state of mind and suffering will fall you as the wheels uh, the wheel the wheel the cart's wheel falls you or falls the uh, the foot of the ox that pulls it so this is a very very powerful analogy the buddha gave it has two implications one of it is the distance between the cart's wheel and the foot of the ox that pulls it i was in bama one time in bago uh, sado panditas monastery i saw this this cow was pulling a cart full of merchants but it was not happy it it was a burden it was so heavy So when we act with impure state of mind with greedy hatred and delusion this becomes a burden and we suffer without even knowing that we are going to suffer because we cannot connect uh between suffering and its cause but in this phrase it's very clear that once we do something with impure state of mind suffering is going to follow the implication also of the distance between the cart wheel and the foot of the egg ox is very interesting because there's a gap always but still the wheel always catch up, catches up with the the, the foot on um, of the ox uh, it keep on uh, going 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 and follow it up wherever it goes it's amazing because it's the same thing that happens whenever we do something Uh, let's say we use abusive words we get uh, into strong emotions and then we utter something uh, not skillful and then we hurt other people's feelings after a while we start regretting oh why did i say this maybe what i said is wrong and then we are going to live the rest of our life in self guilt we have uh, a lot of uh, anxiety so these two things actually are very important to remember because every time if we remember this we are not going to act out of greed hatred and delusion because we know suffering is going to follow us even if we, let's say for instance we we do something unskillful and then we get a, a lawyer to help us to overcome a, a certain case we give them a lot of money and we get away with the case but still after years it's going to dawn on you and say oh maybe what i did was not skillful that's why i'm, I'm suffering so this is a, a very important phrase to remember the second phrase uh, the buddha said that all actions are led by the mind mind is the chief mind is the maker 
act or speak with a pure state of mind and happiness is going to follow you as the shadow falls you without ever departing. So this is a very beautiful analogy, simile. Because when we do something with a pure state of mind, that means with loving kindness, with generosity, with wisdom and understanding, happiness always follows us immediately. So this simile has two implications. One is the immediacy of that shadow. Whenever you travel around and you look at your shadow, is always available, is immediate. So there's no distance between an object or a, a person and the shadow. So whenever you act out of this pure state of mind, let's say you practice generosity, loving kindness, and you cultivate wisdom, there is always that happiness following immediately. As you are doing something, let's say you perform dana, then as you are giving something, you feel happy that you are making a difference in somebody's life. So, even when you, do, you finish giving some, something to somebody, you feel happy. There's also another implication about this is uh, the lightness of the shadow. Who has ever had a problem to carry the shadow? Do you have a problem to carry your shadow? No. You always move around with your shadow and you never feel even the weight. So when you do something which is skillful, with a pure state of mind, you are going to enjoy your happiness without that burden. There is no burden. Whenever you feel happy, you feel joy, you feel light. That's why I think the, the shadow is the lightest thing to cut around. Because you never feel its weight. The same when you do something good, you are always happy, full of joy. So for me, this has served as a guideline to choose between suffering and happiness. We have the choice. There, in the first two phrases of the Dhammapada, the Buddha mentioned it clearly. It's a kind of a menu we can choose. It's a short menu. We can choose to act out of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of greed, hatred and illusion, and then suffering is going to fall us. When we act out of generosity, loving kindness and wisdom, and you'll be happy. I think with this short time I have, I will offer this for your reflection and let this be your guidelines in your life. You can use this and uh, these phrases for your children, or for your friends, and it can serve as a reminder. You can put it on a refrigerator. You can put it on a doorway, doorway before you go. You remind before you go out. You just read this. Oh, then you reflect on this as you are go, going through your life. Or oh, if I act with greed, hatred and delusion, suffering is going to follow. If I act with loving kindness, generosity and wisdom and understanding, I will be happy. I think throughout the day, if you remember this, then you are going to be a, a happy person, you are going to give up suffering and you are going to cultivate happiness. With this, I wish you a happy life. And may all beings be well, happy, and peaceful.